This morning, morning. Uh, we want to continue in this series of, uh, and talk about the Holy Spirit. When talk about the uh, Holy Spirit, I remember one encounter. Uh, I forgot how old was I, probably like 13, 14, I don't know. Um, and I was uh, invited to a church. Uh, <laughs> So it's a very similar setting, you know, the bench and uh, the church. Ooh, ooh. And uh, I was sitting at the back you know, of church. And um, it's, uh, as, the, as the service starts, you know, it's very quiet. You know, it's very quiet. Then, 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 then someone take out. Do you remember this? this? <laughs> uh, for those who are long enough, you probably uh, 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 you know this sound. No? Okay. But... Uh, at, at, at that encounter, at that encounter, that uh, the, the, before the service is going to start, I hear a bell. Immediately, I hear a bell. Uh. Every single one, you know, every single one of church members there start to pray in tongues and pray in spirit. Is you know, yeah, and uh, I was only thirteen or fourteen. I don't know how old am I. I was literally shocked, you know. I was. <laughs> taken back, what, what is happening, what is happening? Everyone in the church was praying in the Spirit and speaking in tongues. I have no idea what I'm talking about. I have no idea what is this uh, happening. I was so shocked. And they are not just like one minute, two minutes. They pray on like, I don't know how long. I keep on saying, waiting, what is happening? I look at my friend and my friend is also doing the same. Okay, so I was uh, struck. No? <laughs> uh, and uh, I'm dumb, no? sitting alone myself. And uh, soon after that, I don't know, probably three, after three, four minutes, so another bell rang. Immediately stop. Pitch silence. Can you imagine? <laughs> you know, even until now, my, my hair, goosebump also come out. You know, silent. Everyone silent. I was uh, in one minute, everybody praying the uh, spirit, and one minute, every silent. I was. Uh, what happened now? <laughs> what, what is happening? And, uh, and uh, I, I cannot remember, did I ever ask my friend? I probably did. I definitely probably asked my friend, no, what is happening? What are you guys doing here? Am I in the right church or not? <laughs> is this a church or not? <laughs> okay. Okay, by the way, definitely it's not Anglican church. <laughs> okay, it's not in Labuan. Okay. Um, so I, I cannot remember. I cannot remember that encounter anymore. Just that, no, the atmosphere of uh, that. So, no, it's praying and uh, speaking in the Spirit just uh, dropped me totally, you know. But man, uh, 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 after, uh, as I, you know, I asked, of course, uh, I, I believe I asked my friend what is happening, all these things. Okay. But many years later, uh, many years later, as I got to know, uh, as I got to know what is actually happening, and then uh, uh, about praying in the Spirit, you know, speaking in tongue, and... Um, uh, uh, in my uni years, you know, there's uh, also an opportunity that I, I you know, get involved in the ministry. I was reaching out to this group of uh, China uh, students. At that period of time, it was just the uh, opening of the borders and a lot of China people coming into the uh, college. So I was ministering to them. And uh, at that moment, at that season of time, other people asked me you know, because I got to know no, I, I started to got to know, understand this. I also speak in tongue. I also pray in the spirit you know, and uh, in services. So that period of time now, other people start asking me, you know, what are you doing? <laughs> Why you speak in weird language? You know? And uh, if they continue to ask, you know, what are you doing? Or what language are you talking about? You know, it is it is quite okay you know, to give an answer for that. But uh, the thing is that they are not asking what are you doing. Uh, the question that I receive is that, are you okay? You know the differences between this, are you okay? And what are you doing? It's a huge difference, you know. The first question is just to know, uh, what are you doing? Lah, huh? What are you talking about? The second question is that, you know, are you crazy or not? <laughs> so, uh, so I have encountered people asking me, what are you doing? You know, why, why is this spirit? You know, what is this Holy Spirit you're talking about? You know, why you talk in you know, 
words or language that's uh, foreign to every one of us. Now, this is the best opportunity to explain the faith uh, that you believe in. Uh, uh, so remember, in this season of time, I remind this every time already, it's a season to explain our faith. What do we do? What do we believe? No, it's not to win an argument, but it's an opportunity to explain what do we believe. And uh, 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 especially on this topic of Holy Spirit, and uh, if there's a question being raised like this, oh, it's the best opportunity for us to explain. Okay, and uh, this morning, I hope that you know, and these uh, a few pointers will help us to understand a little bit better on how to you know, explain the faith that you believe in, and uh, hopefully, you know, they will also understand you know, what is uh, happening. So, now, I pointed out here, if someone is going to ask us, oh, what are you talking about? What is this weird language that I'm hearing? You know, it's the best opportunity that you can start with. You no, know, this is the work of the Holy Spirit. You know, praying in the Spirit is the work of the Holy Spirit. It's one of the signs that God dwells in us. So that's the very first thing. You know, that's the very first thing that God dwells in us. This is one of the signs that we speak in the Spirit. No, and uh, what do we mean God is dwelling in us? You know, from the very beginning, we know uh, this spirit you know, involves in creation, you no, know, in Genesis 2. You no, know, we talk about so when God forms a human from the dust, he forms it and God breathed, breathed into, uh, into the being, and what happened? Life appears. Human being appears, you no, know, like you and me. All right? Oh, so life being formed, so he's involved in this spirit is the one that gives us life and calls us to be alive now. And uh, not only that, this is, the, uh, this is the heart desire of God that he wants to place his spirit in each and every one of us. Uh, in the scripture, oh, there are quite a number of scripture in the bulletin, you can refer to it, and uh, there are a few oh, we can talk about here now. Jeremiah 31, verse 33 here, I think I just quote 33. You know, it says that, oh, I will put my law within them. I will write it in their hearts, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. You see, the heart desire of God, that one thing, His Spirit in us. Ezekiel 36, 27, I will put my Spirit within you. That's a heart desire. Joel, towards the last day, you see that Joel, he also says that, no, then after I'll pour out my spirit in you. Corinthians you know, 6, 19. Do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit? You see, this is the heart desire that God you know, wanting to put His Spirit in us. Why? So that we can experience it. That is why you know, experience God is so real. It is so tangible. It is so possible. You know? It's not something in the dream. It is so possible. Why? Because the Spirit dwells in us. It is the work of the Holy Spirit that we can experience Him. Okay? So that is the very first thing that God dwells in us. Not only that He dwells in us, He continues involves in our life. And, uh, and, and the scripture that we read just now in the Gospel talk about Reborn, no, or born again. Uh, born again is a language or a word that is very foreign. How do you say born again? No? Even, uh, even Nicodemus was uh, actually questioning, how do you expect no, a doubt to be born again? You know, physically, logically, it's impossible. Uh, even no, in language, or you talk, not, not talk about physical, it's a very foreign language to understand about being born again. But then, the experience of born again is very similar, not the same, very similar of the creation day. Remember just now, I talked about no, God from, no, from the dust, no, from the soil, God breathed into it. The spirit was breathed into the dust and human life forms and becomes alive. Born again is a similar, something similar, huh? it's a similar that when the Spirit infilled in us, the Spirit lives in us, you know, we become alive again. We 
we become born again, there is such life in this new family. You know, so because the Spirit you know, lives in us, enables us to experience God, and it, is, uh, it, it help us help us to pray. It helps us to draw our relationship with the Lord. It helps us to knit closer together. By how? By prayer. Our scripture says that uh, the Spirit helps us to intercede. Now, there are a few scriptures you can uh, uh, refer to. I think Romans talk about it. When a person is suffering, when a person loss of words, do not know how to pray, and that is the moment that the Spirit sees. The Spirit helps someone to pray. At times, words that he, he or she cannot utter, words that he, he doesn't even know. And that is the case of praying in the Spirit. That uh, there will be time that when we pray, we do not know even what we are praying. But the Spirit sees us. It's not that we you know, pray blankly, lah, huh? but uh, because of we are yearning for it. You know, we, are, we have this constant struggle. We do not know what kind of words to use. But the Spirit helps us so that, so that to do what? So that it reconnects us to God. It connects us. It nurtures our relationship with the Lord. That is true prayer. The second thing, the Spirit also helps us to understand the Word of God. Now, we know that so we have been reading the Word of God. I hope that we read the Word of God you know, day in, day out. Um, uh, and, and you and I, or oh, probably I thought about me. Lah. <laughs> okay. No, many times you probably read it very flat. We will say it's just pure reading and uh, we may not get something out of it. But uh, when we are filled with the Spirit, things can be different. When we have this yearning for the Spirit, when we read the Word of oh God, it will be different. You know, uh, recently I was sharing in this uh, prayer meeting, I was talking about the, uh, there's a period, no, there's, uh, just recently, uh, what's, there's a desperation, you know, there was a desperation. Uh, uh, to seek the Lord. Lah. Okay, so much so that uh, uh, I, I ask, I, I cry out to the Lord, say, Lord, if you do not say something to me, uh, it's going to be bad. It's going to be bad. So I took a Bible and uh, opened and I read. You know, it's not that I've not read. No, it, it, uh, the passage landed to me, it's uh, Deuteronomy 8. No, it's not that I've not read before. 6 to 8 is a very famous so, uh, uh uh, talking about the law of God, how we should love the Lord, how is obedience, and uh, some more is uh, is uh, our school academy uh, uh, that uh, main focus to draw me six, all right, and eight. Well, I read it countless of times. Not that I have not read it before, but that night when I read it, because of the desperation, because I'm yearning for it, the Spirit just makes the Scripture so alive that it speaks into my situation, that it speaks to uh, 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 or relates you know, uh, myself with the Scripture or Scripture with me, that uh, I felt so encouraged, that I felt the Word of God literally you know, just spoke to me at that night to encourage me. So, you see, that is the work of the Spirit. He moves in your life. You know, the Spirit helps us so that we may draw near and closer to God. That is the work of the Holy Spirit. Not only that, we talk about born again. No? Born again. Now physically, you are born into a family, is it not? You are parents, you are born into a family. No, I'm from Chia, my children are born into the Chia family. No? Uh, Rodney, probably, you, know, you are born into a low family. You know? and, uh, so, but then, your family and my family is not related. <laughs> no? Your own, my my own, right? Because why? Because you're born in by the different parents. But when you talk about born again, we are born again by the by 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 who? By the Spirit, by the Holy Spirit. And this Holy Spirit is not Holy Spirit A, Holy Spirit B, Holy Spirit C, D, E, F. No, it's the same Spirit. And therefore, what does it mean? We are born into one. Family. One family in Christ. And therefore, when we experience the born again, not only it talks about relationship with God, it talks about relationship with one another. 
that we are born in a family, we are two, we are one big family. That's why in Christianity, you know, in our spirituality, we are not alone. It's not just a tagline for, <laughs> uh, for a soccer club or whatever. No, it's not just a tagline. We are not alone, yes. Why? Because we are born in one family. And therefore, it's so crucial you know, for us to recognize this. If we are one family, we are to watch over for one another. We must watch over each other's shoulder to carry each other's burden. And that is why cell group is so important. No? Cell group, it is the family that in the cell group, we, we, we help, we assist, no? we encourage one another so that our journey is not alone. Our journey, we do not need her to go through our journey alone. Why? Because we are born again in the family of Christ. So there is a unity among us. You know, so that's, uh, that's the one thing, that's the work of the Holy Spirit involves in our lives. That is the Holy Spirit. Not only that, He involves in our lives. The third thing, you know, He empowers us. The Spirit here is um, the scripture that we have read. Did we read this scripture just now? In the Corinthians. Yes, so uh, uh, Corinthians talk about, you know, uh, the Spirit gives gifts to each and every one of us. All of us have different gifts. Uh, all of us has a gift also. Uh, uh, so you're wondering whether do I have gift or not. So if you feel that you do not have, ask for it. You know, the Spirit gives. Here the scripture says that, you know, the uh, uh, Corinthians uh, 12 verse 7, now to each one the manifestation of the Spirit is given for the common good. To one, is given through the Spirit a message of wisdom to another, a message of knowledge to another, to another, all the way through. Huh? It's different gift that given. So let's have yearning for it. You felt that so? Well, I don't, I'm not, um, <laughs> I don't have any gifts. Ask of the Lord. And the Spirit will give. Now, there is, of course, there is always a debate. Uh, is there any difference between gifts and talent? No. Supposed to become from uh, the spirit. Talent is kind of like natural. You're born with it. Uh, 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 there's no end no, to debate on this lah. Huh? But to me, to me, you know, all good things comes from the Lord, is it not? Now all good things comes from the Lord. If the Lord has given us talents, it, yeah, it's God has given us nature, ability. You know, uh, uh, you're you're good in certain area. You know, you're not good in certain areas. It's, to me, I'm not good in a lot of other things. <laughs> okay, I, but I'm good as, uh, if I'm good at certain things, I'm good at certain things. I, I want to acknowledge that because if God's given talent to me. I want to acknowledge that I want to give thanks. I want to also acknowledge, no, I'm not good at any, uh, some other things as well. And therefore, again, family of Christ comes in. Everyone serve. Everyone take their own gifts. For the common good. So it empowers our life together. Not just to live our life like any other day. It's not to go through our motion in our, our daily lives. But to recognize the gift that we have to contribute. The gifts that we have to make a difference. To make an impact in other people's lives. You know, it comes with assurance of God's is it not? So, X 1 8 uh, is already very, you know, uh, it's assurance, you know, it is the, it, 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 it's the Spirit comes in power that we may, of course, 1 8 talk about evangelism, uh, so that we may preach the Word of God. The same Spirit also enables us that we may serve one another. So, you no know, coming days, coming uh, this year, uh, when we have uh, uh, church events, we have cell group events, so let us use our different gifting in our cell groups uh, to give, to participate, not just to take, not just to receive, but to give. You know, because the Spirit has given us gift, and therefore we must use the gift to give, not only to receive. So that is the Spirit. That is the Holy Spirit. No, he, 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 is, he is a spirit, a sign that God dwells in us. He's not only dwelling in us, he's, he, he is the one that so, 
uh, involved in our lives, that we are able to experience Him, that we may also to build this family. And uh, the Holy Spirit, you know, give us empowerment, encourage us to serve one another. So that's the Holy Spirit. Probably you can end with a challenge. Do you want the Holy Spirit also? See, you know, I mean, uh, this uh, is an opportunity for us to explain why we believe, you know, what we believe. And I hope that uh, it can be an encouragement to you also today. Do you need the Holy Spirit? Do you want the Holy Spirit? The scripture, you know, we can go on and on. Uh. This is only touching a little bit only. Uh. I, there's a whole lot, of, uh, a whole lot of doctrine and theology we can talk about it. Uh, but then this is what I believe, what the Spirit you know, encourages in my life. And I want to share this with you. And the spirit, same Spirit also here today speak to you and I this morning. You need the Holy Spirit. Paul says, be filled with the Spirit. We need to be filled in the Spirit every day. So if you feel that, you know, today we come to church a little bit, you know, a little bit dry, a little bit normality, yearn for the Spirit. Because when the Spirit fills us, there will be a sense of freshness, like a living water you know, gushing out. It's a freshness that we will look at life very, very differently. Even though problems still occur, <laughs> you know, even though challenges still, you know, I was saying that, you know, why I desperate you know, for, the, uh, uh, for the Spirit, you know, because of a few events, I mentioned two of the events uh, just now, our uh, Intrigue Program and that's just, uh, you know, uh, quite a number of things uh, in my mind that, uh, uh, yeah, quite stressful also uh, at times. So, so that's why the desperation, uh, uh, when the Lord ministered to me, uh, is I still have to run the program. I still have a lot of things to, uh, to, 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 uh, to think and talk, to invite. Uh, but it gives a new perspective, a freshness on how we look at things. You know, rather than focus on the impossibility, now we focus on all the possibility. Problems may not go away, but with the Spirit, it helps us to focus our hope in the Lord as we journey on. That is why it's so important for us to be filled with the Spirit. Amen. So this morning, no, as the worship you know, continue to minister to us, you know, open up our hearts. You know, if we desire of the Spirit this morning, ask the Spirit, ask God to feel, to feel you, that you may experience Him, that you may encounter Him. And that I can, not that I can guarantee, but I believe that we see life very, very differently. Instead of hopelessness, there will be joy, there will be comfort, there will be hope. Amen. Let's pray. Father, I want to give thanks to you for this confident assurance that we have in you. Lord, this is your desire that you want to send your Spirit in each and every one of us. And we believe over here, every one of us, we have that spirit. And we want to pray that you fill us anew, O oh Lord. Like Paul commands us, be filled in the spirit. That today, we'll be able to encounter you, we'll be able to experience you. That will give us a fresh perspective of life. And how we live our lives, Lord. So Father, we pray your Spirit works mightily this morning. Speak to each and every one of us. Speak to each and every one of us. Let your Spirit whisper that your Spirit feels. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen.